whose world awaits of holiness and love. Teach us to raise our minds and hearts often to the Trinity, and to fix thereon our respectful and loving attention. Since you journey with us in the path of eternal life, do not be a stranger to the frail pilgrims your charity is willing to shelter. Turn your merciful gaze towards us. Draw us into your brilliance. Shower us with your kindness. Lead us into the light and into love. Lead us ever further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us leave the thought of God. Let the leverage minute take us further into the depths of the abyss of mystery until the day when our souls, fully blossomed by the light of divine union, will see all things in eternal life. Of God. 
I waited, I waited for the Lord, and he stooped down to me, he heard my cry. He drew me from the deadly pit, from the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock, and made my footsteps firm. He put a new song into my mouth, praise of our God. Many shall see and fear, and shall trust in the Lord. Happy the man who has placed his trust in the Lord. And has not gone over to the rebels who follow false gods. How many, O Lord my God, are the wonders and desires that you have worked for us, you have no equal. <coughs> Should I proclaim and speak of them? They are more than I can tell. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open year. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. In the scroll of the book it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your love in the death of my heart. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not sealed, you know it, O Lord. I have not hidden your justice in my heart, but declared your faithful help. I have not hidden your love and your truth from the great assembly. O Lord, you will not withhold your compassion from me. Your merciful love and your truth will always guard me. For I am beset with evils too many to be counted. My sins have fallen upon me and my sight fails me. They are more than the hairs of my head and my heart sings. O Lord, come to my rescue. Lord, come to my aid. O let there be shame and confusion of those who seek my life. O let them turn back in confusion who delight in my heart. Let them be a fall of the great shame who jeer at my love. O oh, let there be rejoicing and gladness for all who seek you. Let them ever say the Lord is great, who love your saving hell. As for me, wretched and poor, the Lord thinks of me. You are my rescuer, my help. O oh God, do not delay. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Give thanks and confess the great and wonderful works Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God. Amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng of which joy. 
Why are you cast down, my soul, why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you. From the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon, from the hill of Mizor. Deep is calling on deep in the roar of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. My day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him, praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, my enemies revile me. Saying to me all the day long, where is your God? Why are you cast down, my soul, my white groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Did I not tell you that if you would be me, you would see the glory of God? You are clothed with power from on high. O Lord, I have heard your renown. And feared, O Lord, your word. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory. And with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from beside him. Where his power is concealed. Bared and ready is your bow. Filled with arrows is your quiver. In the streams you split the air. At sight of you the mountains tremble, a torrent of rain descends, the ocean gives forth its roar. The sun forgets to rise, the moon remains in its shelter, at the light of your flashing arrows, at the gleam of your flashing spear. In wrath you bestride the earth, in fury you trample the nations. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You crush the heads of the wicked, you lay bare their bases at the neck. You, you pierce with your shafts the heads of their princes whose boast will be of devouring the wretched in their lair. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles, at the sound my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, 
and there be no herd in the stalls. Yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exalt in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. You are clothed with power from on high. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. All peoples clap your hands, cry to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord the Most High we must fear, great King over all the earth. He subdues peoples under us, and nations under our feet. Our inheritance, our glory is from Him, given to Jacob out of love. God goes up with shouts of joy, the Lord goes up with trumpet blasts. Sing praise for God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God is King of all the earth. Sing praise with all your skill. God is King over the nations. God reigns on His holy throne. The princes of the people are assembled with the people of Abraham's God. The rulers of the earth belong to God, to God who reigns over all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. When I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all into this like. Give to the hungry some of your bread, and to the naked some of your clothing. Seek counsel you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O shining star of the church. Who reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of our word, eternal fruit of his bosom, source of all life and of all truth. O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, who at the Last Supper rested your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son and of the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received a treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, 
living by his light and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Agapitos, under the life-giving guidance of this spirit directly, in Mary, Mother of Jesus, and our Lord. Angelus Domini Nunziavit Mariae, et concebite Spiritus Sancto. Ege Angela Domini, fiat mihi secundum verbum tuo. Et verbum caro factum et habitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedica tu in mulieribus, et benedictus frutus et visui, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro nobis sancta Dei genitri, Uti mi effici amor promissionibus Christi. Oremus, grazie in tu, anquesumus Domine, mentibus nostris in funde. Ut qui angelo non si ante, Christi fili tui incarnationem cognobimus. Ervasione meus et crucem, ad resurrectionis gloriam perlucamus. Per eundem Christum Dominum nostrum. Amen. 